Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today on the channel, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me as I tr troubleshoot these Energy Links solar panels. We're gonna try to figure out if there's something wrong with them or if they're just not very good. So come along with me and let's figure it out. All right, guys, we're back. Um, the day I was gonna shoot this video and bring you guys along with me as I troubleshoot, um, it wasn't really very sunny. Uh, it started to go down and it started raining. So we're back with a new day. As you can see, the panel and the shadow, it's almost um, perfect alignment. I'm just gonna shoot, shoot this myself as I'm going. So let's check this out. All four panels are plugged in right now. Um, let's check the voltage that we're getting out of here. Um, DC voltage, can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see that, is that better? All right, DC voltage plus positive, negative. All right, looks like out of the panels we're getting roughly 19.1 volts DC, okay? Four panels right now. So, let's plug this in. Turn this on. Sometimes this thing gets a little finicky. 19, here we go, charging, 19. 172, 196, hey, we passed a new record today. For now, 221 right now, 221 was charging. Looks like it stabilized off at 221. Uh, well, that's with the four panels, and remember that the Renergy panel is still connected. So, with four panels, we're getting 220 watt, 221 watts charging at, according to this, around 11.6 volts. Um, with four panels, one exit Renergy panel. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, here's four panels. All right, so we know we're at 221 watts right now. Let's go see how it works. Let's check each individual panel. All right, stay with me. So here are the two leads coming off of this panel. Okay, no shadow on here. We're gonna check each one. You cannot plug this directly into the energy, uh, primarily because they're both the same connector. So we're gonna use the shorter, I don't know, what is this four foot cable or something like that and plug it in. All right, guys? So let's turn this sucker on. Um, let's take this cable, plug it in. It's one of the leads. And we're gonna plug in this to the to the apex and that's, that's a, remember what i was telling you guys earlier about a difficult connector that's what it is all right i realize you can't see that so let's switch over to the gopro here all right hasn't picked up that it's charging yet the blue light is on uh, sometimes you got to give it a minute or two before it starts uh reading the charge come on or maybe yeah, it's defective who knows can you guys see that on the GoPro? There it goes, look at that. It's charging at 50 watts, 11.51 volts. All right, not sure if you guys can see that, so let me bring you guys in closer. Can you see that now? All right. So, um, there's that. All right, let's check the other lead. The second lead coming off of here. Let's check that. All right. So to unconnect this. All right, second lead. Let's plug this guy in here. It looks like this is charging, same thing, 50 watts, 11.51 volts, all right? Still charging. So, this is that one panel. One, this one panel both leads about 50 watts. All right, let's take this second panel. All right, second panel, both leads here. We'll take this first lead, connect it to the apex. All right.
when we put the video together, we'll skip. All right, look, the second panel is charging at about 62 watts. Um, 62 watts, about 11.51 volts. All right, it's the first lead. Let's check the second lead. So it looks like it seems to be about right. If each panel puts out about 50 watts each, that would be 50 watts, 50 watts, 100, 150, 200. So it's about right, about 200 watts, assuming each panel puts out about 100 watts, okay? And I don't wanna muddy it up, but let's see. Not charging yet. Let's see if you guys can see what's going on here. All right, see this panel is charging 62 watts, right? 62 watts, 11.51 volts. All right, it doesn't. All right, gonna have to move you guys over. Stick with me. Let's go pull it down so you guys can see what's going on. All right, we'll disconnect this. All right, we're gonna take this first lead from the Kodiak, or uh, from the panel, plug it into the Apex. My best guess is this is gonna be somewhere around 50 to 60 watts, um, seeing how everything else so far has been about 50 to 60 watts. See that? This panel is charging at about 58 watts. All right, um, sorry the other camera shut off. It looks like since we're in the direct sun, it had a temperature warning and shut off. So let's check the second lead, all right guys? All right, looks like we're charging right around 58 watts, 11.51 volts. All right, so the panel seems to be doing somewhere around 58 watts. Actually, let's check the wattage output of this uh, Renergy panel. All right, look, this Renergy panel, no shadow, it's connected here. So this Renergy panel that I picked up on uh, Prime Day or whatever for I think it was like 70 or 80 bucks. It looks like it's doing roughly around 58 watts. So the performance of this Renergy panel is about the same as one Lynx panel. So this uh, Renergy panel I'm using down here uh, is getting about the same performance as this, uh, as all the Lynx, pa Lynx panels that were included in the kits. Um, considering the price difference, I would definitely go, if you're going to go with something, I would definitely go with the Renergy panel. Uh, I can't remember how much each of these panels, these uh, Lynx panels were. But I do remember they were somewhere between, I think I want to say, $100 to $200. Um, so the main benefit of this uh, Energy Lynx panel, look how thin this is compared to one of these. All right. Um, and that's why, only reason you would get something like this, which is why I went with this primarily because... Um, it's a little bit easier to carry and move, but if you're not moving it a lot, I'll definitely go with a different panel like this. Hey guys, so we just we just did the uh, uh, test on each Lynx panel. It looks like each one of these Lynx panels puts out somewhere between 50 to 60 watts um, in the best case on the sunlight. So um, I hope this video has helped you guys out. We did test the long cable, I guess, and we did test each panel. Um, so since each panel puts out roughly around 50 watts, so 50, 100, 150, uh, 200. So it looks like these four panels is just giving a combined output of about 200 watts. Um, we did test each lead on the panels and none of these leads have seemed to have a problem from the factory. 
Um, so it just looks like the problem is just really low performance of the panels. Um, I mean, like we said, we tested it um, in pretty much the best time of the day where it looked like the shadow was a direct over or direct cast right under it. So um, this Renergy panel is, pretty, is roughly performing about the same as most of you guys would probably expect. Renergy's been doing this for a while. Um, but anyways, um, there's no problem with the long cable. There's no, I mean, we're getting the same results whether we plugged each one in directly to the energy or we chained them all up. So hope this video has helped you guys out. If you guys have any other ideas or whatnot, we'll see what's going on. Maybe you can contact my energy and show in the video and try to figure out, hey, what's up with the performance of the panels, right? So I apologize for some of this footage. Uh, we're, at, we're using a camera and a, and a GoPro. It looks like the camera overheated since it's really hot right now. We're in Georgia and this it's, it's roughly around 98 degrees according to the thermometers outside. So, um, I mean, somebody's probably going to say, oh, the temperature is going to definitely perform going to impact the performance of the panels but that may be true but hey can't really do anything about shading the panels because I mean they got to be out in the sun I guess one thing somebody could do is maybe they could try to do an experiment where they try to put a little uh, overcast or what do you call it a little cover on it and put some UV um light tint on it or whatnot maybe if they wanted to actually that may be a good uh that may be a good experiment maybe if somebody if anybody wants to um actually let's say this if we can get this video to about a thousand likes at least a thousand likes then i'll try to figure out how to do that experiment where we cover um one um with the uv tint um not the panel itself but um, maybe another piece of glass or something to help reduce the uh, UV rays directly on the panel. Maybe that'll help cool it down and that may impact performance. I'm not sure, but like we said, if we can get enough likes or, I don't know, more people interested in doing something like that, then maybe we'll do it. So, so let me know, put it in the comments below, give it, if you guys want to help contribute to the people who want to see that experiment, give it a thumbs up. Um, maybe it'll prove something, maybe it won't, we'll know, we'll see. But anyways, we'll see you guys next time.